Welcome to episode one of the Final Fantasy VII Animation Station. Um, so what, what is this series, really? What is Animation Station? Well, you see, the thing is, in order to be relevant or semi-relevant on YouTube, you have to upload every single day, um, especially if you're a small channel like, like this channel right here. You have to get out there. And uh, it takes a very long time to animate something in its entirety. So Animation Station is basically a daily vlog where I'll show you my progress on whatever project or whatever animation project I happen to be working on at the time. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Um, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have already seen the teaser footage that I've showed for this uh, Final Fantasy VII project. And what I want to do with this is I want to I want to animate the, the entire opening sequence, the entire bombing run mission. I'm going to show you guys each and every single step, hopefully daily <laughs> of how, you know, how, how the animation is going through. Um, this, this is going to be separate from tutorials and all that. But this is just, you know, this is more like a watch, watch me draw or let's draw. Like, let's play, but draw, uh, whatever. Anyway, let's dive right into this here. All right, so where we left off, we have the trailer. And I'm just going to go ahead and skip forward. So, yeah, a lot of this is, like, straight through from the game. Um, I mean, it's not exactly like the game. I used it as a reference to kind of add something new and build up upon what was in the original Final Fantasy VII opening. Uh, but where do we go from here? Like once it, once we scroll all the way up to Shinra Tower, where do we go from here? That that animation's not going to be in the final product. That's just a transition to uh to show an end screen. But anyway, yeah, where do we go from there? So let's look back at the original footage from the game. Let's see what we can do here. So we got this down already. Got Aerith walking through the alley. Midgar. And it zooms out to Shinra Tower. So this is where we stopped. Bam, logo pops up on the screen. And then it's going to cut to the train. Right? It cuts to the train that goes in and out. And bam, train. Train again. Train again. Zooms into Shinra Tower. And the train goes all the way into the station as we zoom, like, we zoom in from an eagle's point of view all the way down here. So what can we do about that? Well, how, how can we transition, or how can I transition the footage that I've already recorded into that? Well, I'm going to have to open up our handy dandy storyboard, whatever that might be. All right. So, we got our handy dandy storyboard here. And, and we can begin sketching out whatever ideas come to mind. Really, nothing to be finalized. I got this uh, storyboard just to sketch out anything. Just anything that comes to mind first. And we'll always change it later. This is really just the beginning stage. Now, before we start, I just want to bring back the uh, intro again. Okay, you got Shinra Tower, and then the train shows up, goes back to Shinra Tower. And the train shows up again and you see how the train is going in and out of frame like that now we're going to do the same thing but instead of using the train we're going to use the characters of the bombing mission so wedge biggs jesse barrett and cloud so instead of having the train we're going to show the characters popping up in, in place of that so the first shot we're going to show is wedge and then, and then this is just what's coming to mind as i as i go along with this and <laughs> I excuse me for the very messy sketches. I've always been a, re a really messy sketcher. So um, yeah. Don't know what else to say about that. The mother, other than get good, son. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, the first shot is gonna be of Wedge. And I don't even know. I you know what? I don't know like exactly how he's going to look at this stage. Um, I don't even know what pose it's gonna be. But I do know I want a shot of him first maybe he's sitting down in the train and he's like looking down towards the ground he's preparing himself he's trying to psych himself up for the mission and excuse my 
poorly drawn figures here and there. <laughs> but it'll look much better once it's finished. Maybe draw like a, some interior of the train here. Maybe there's a box, some cargo, whatever. Maybe a window. Okay, anyway. So I was gonna show Wedge first. Okay, then we'll show Biggs. And I'm not sure exactly what shot of Biggs is gonna be. But maybe he's like, maybe he's like, uh, yeah, he's also getting ready. But he's more confident than, he's more confident than uh, Wedge is at this point. And maybe the shot will be like from higher above. Just to, just to have, you know, a different comparison from him and, him and Wedge. So the next shot would be Jessie. And let's see, what can we do with her? Maybe we can do one with her like looking directly out of the window. Now, these aren't gonna be still frames. I'm still gonna animate. I'm still gonna make them have some type of movement or do something. But for right now, just the storyboard, storyboard process, just something to get out there. Something really, really simple. So yeah, we'll have her like maybe looking out the window and on the other side of the window, we can see, we can see um, just any everything in the background going towards the, as the train is going towards the right, you can see stuff in the background uh, parallaxing towards the left. So we'll do that for her. Now, next shot will show Barrett. Um, let's see. Yeah, next shot will be Barrett. And what can we do for him? Well, Barrett is one of those characters that's like one of those larger than life characters. And if it's really going to be the first shot for him, I kind of want to look at him from the ground up. Or from a pers perspective that's like looking upwards. So, I'll do something like this. And maybe he's like cocking his gun arm or something. Yeah, Barrett is not that fat, but <laughs> I mean, you you get the idea. Okay, so and finally, the last character we'll show is Cloud. Now, for Cloud, it's going to be a little bit tricky because what I what I had in mind was he's still on top of the train as the train is going into the station. Um, but we're gonna. We're going to just show like a, a profile shot of him. Um, let's see. Spiky hair. Why not? And it's going to start off as, as um, it's going to start off as a profile shot of Cloud, of Cloud's face, right? But after that, the camera's going to kind of, it's going to kind of do like a 360 spin. No, the camera's going to, it's going to rotate on Cloud's face and we're going to get a better perspective of like what's going on here. So then the camera kind of goes to the side of his face as he's on the train. And then it's going to go towards the back of his head. And as it goes to the back of his head, uh, we're going to zoom out. This is really bad. <laughs> this is a really bad sketch, man. Okay. Yeah, okay, so then the camera's gonna zoom out. This is just what I have in mind here. I'm gonna write that. Zoom out. There's Cloud again. On that train. Let's say this is the train. Oh my god, that is terrible. And as it's as it's zooming out, we'll We'll get a better shot of the background of uh, the station that, that's coming up. Kind of like what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to emulate. Let me see if I can bring it up on YouTube again. I'm trying to emulate this shot right here as it kind of zooms into the station. And that would be our transitioning shot. So I'm going to I'm going to do this. But Cloud is going to be like right up here. And it's not going to look exactly like this, but uh, we'll come up with something more dynamic but this is really bad <laughs> i yeah i really need to finalize this one but yeah i got i have i have we have good references we've got nothing to worry about um and yeah so 
just for a recap, we got Wedge. He's looking down. He's getting ready. He's a little bit nervous, but he's ready to do this mission. We got Biggs. He's standing up, he's getting his gun ready. You know, he's, he knows what's about to go down. And then we got Jesse. She's looking out the window as the train is pulling up to the station. We got Barrett standing up. He's loading up his gun arm. He's cocking it. And then we have Cloud as the camera, the camera then um, rotates. Wait, did I say this was profile? This is not profile. This is not a profile shot. That was my bad. I forgot the name of this shot, but it's the one where it's just showing the front of the face. The profile shot is when um, it, it's um, like the side view. That's a profile shot, I believe. But yeah, anyway, front shot rotates into profile. Then it rotates to the back of his head. And as it's going towards the back of his head, the camera will zoom out. And, and so we can see more of the train station there. And maybe like a little bit more of the reactor that they're going to in the background or something. But yeah, that's what I got so far. In the next episode, we are going to start to actually finalize some of these sketches so we get a better understanding of what's going on. And that would be that. So that's today's episode of Animation Station. As they're going into the train station for better clarification. I need to stop rhyming. That's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.